on this wire up into the cab. This is where it disconnects. Put the coupler. And this you'd normally mount down here or weld it to a bracket or something like that so it can stay on the boom. We'll just leave it loose for now. You want to route this in such a way so that it follows your hydraulic hoses and stuff so it's easy to zip tie. And then typically there's a bulkhead in the area of the machine pad. You can come in up under here if it's more of a permanent installation. But for now we're just going to run this inside the door. Now be careful of this whole pivot. So this whole area is going to move a lot. So when you're planning your routing, your hose routing, you have to make sure that you've got plenty of slack here. This is your on and off switch. So this activates the valve. When it's normally off, you're going to have your angle function driving it. Uh, controls right here. When you turn the valve on and you give the valve power, then it turns the hydraulic uh, flow into the hydro clamp cylinders, which take the box on and off. And this obviously goes into your auxiliary power. We have 12 or 24 volt options there. In this case, this loader has a nice 12 volt option here, so we're just going to plug it in there. And then typically, this would get mounted to your joystick, you tape it or zip tie it here. So you have easy access to put the switch back and forth, but since this is a temporary installation, we're just going to leave it loose. 